three years. Three years since I Let's Played No More Heroes. One year since I Let's Played No More Heroes 2. Well, you know what? I think it's about damn time we Let's Played No More Heroes 3. Oh, wait a minute. No More Heroes 3 isn't even out yet, is it? Uh... Okay then, screw it. Let's just do... Mad World. Yeah! This game uh, is a uh, 2008 uh, Wii game that uh, was extremely hyped up because uh, it was a lot like No More Heroes in the sense that it was the first what appeared to be was going to be triple A M rated game on Wii, which Wii was extremely lacking in M rated games by now. And if there were, they were usually crap. Except for like ports aside, like No More Heroes and Mad World are basically the two big ones. Uh it's it's a really awesome game. It's super stylized, it's and it's super fun, so let's go. Okay, let's see here. Uh Let's just delete this one. Uh, you're gonna note. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. You're gonna notice right away this game has a ridiculously stylized look to it. Uh, right away. Hard mode. Um, this game actually has a good difficulty curve. Actually, it gets really hard in the later stages. So I don't know how hard hard mode is. I assume it's hard. Hence hard. It, whatever. Let's just go normal. There we go. It's all black and white. Just like Sin City. As you can see, all eight bridges to Jefferson Island have been cut. There is no traffic in the island. bridges, or holy crap. Island. Jeff we bridges are over there to help out. Communications blackout with Jefferson Island, leaving the residents there effectively cut off from the outside world. Hmm. Yes, they're demanding that we not approach the city, and we've been told anyone who does will be met with force. But look, let me make this perfectly clear. We have no intention of giving in to any such demands. No! Like Spider-Man type letters. Except with blood and gore. My fellow citizens, first, I assure you that all necessary measures are being taken. I am not a crook. I authorized a special team of Marines into the field. They'll be working closely with our intelligence agencies to bring this matter to a swift and peaceful conclusion. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that's got to hurt. Oh, anime line. Oh, anime blood, I guess. Oh, who's this manly man? Ready to kick ass and chew bubblegum? Who? Me? <laughs> Ready as always. Oh, yeah. We'll find out his name uh, in a bit. But now we get to go to our map, map select screen. Uh, this is a lot like No More Heroes 2, uh, where it's just a, a big menu where you choose what to do. 
Uh, first off, let's go to options just really quickly and uh, test out controls. Well, those are the controls. You cannot change controls in this game, so get used to them. Uh, sound. Yes, we are changing this. Music down to four. Sound effects down to five. And that and subtitles on. There we go. Uh, you'll definitely want announcers on high. Sound effects music on low. Trust me, the announcers make this game. Uh, well, they're one of the biggest reasons why this game is pretty cool. Um, unless you like the music, which for me, music's hit and miss. Sometimes it has some really good tracks, which is weird because it's rap, hip hop. But some some of the tracks are really good, uh, and I'll point those out when they come by. Uh, and cutscene voice, that's fine. Uh, yes. Um. Uh, that's it. Uh, now we go to map, and we can select, uh... Well, the only thing we can select is Varigan City, which is our starting level. Little Eddie. So, uh, right off the bat, I'll tell you, this is, um... You're basically in a tournament for your life. Uh, where contestants enter, and they just fight it out until they're number one. And we, uh, start at 256. We don't start at 51, like in that other game. Uh, and our first uh, opponent will be Little Eddie, so let's take him out. Oh crap, the organization's Your involved with this? Sure to please my client. Well, anyone else here feel they Didn't know they had thick accents. Apparently not. Congratulations, contestant. My client will be delighted. Hey, I could use a sponsor. Who's there? Show yourself! <laughs> it's the floating cigarette! Oh, look at that chest here. There is a signing bonus, right? Of course. But I wouldn't spend your bonus just yet. He's already killed two dozen bigger than yourself. Like a... BOSS! <laughs> bigger don't mean better. The bigger they are? <laughs> Apparently not. Consider yourself sponsored. Signing bonus is ten thousand. Survive and you'll be paid in full. Ten thousand smackaroons. Survive and in the good graces of Death Watch control, I'll supply you with such weaponry as you require. Don't need any. Sounds like we got a deal. You can call me Thirteen, as I represent sponsor number Thirteen. And your name? For contract purposes, of course. Jack. Just Jack. <laughs> yeah. Very well, Just Jack. Shall we begin? You see the communicator there. I want you to put it in your ear. You're going to want. Uh, we're going to make you whether you want to or not. With that, we'll be able to continue our little talks. I'll be using it to keep you abreast of critical developments as the game progresses, so don't take it out. Hmm. Can't do anything suspicious with you watching me over. Creek. Oh yeah, he also has a chainsaw for an arm! <laughs> They're screwed now. Let the games begin. <laughs> Here's a quick a little reorientation with the controls. Uh, hopefully, I won't fuck them up. There's a controls are kind of confusing in this game. Score sport fans, it's oh. a beautiful evening on Jefferson Island. Just perfect weather for our unwilling contestants to compete in the Varigan City Death Watch. My name is Howard Buckshot Holmes, and along with my co-commentator Chris Creedy, I'll be giving you a slay-by-slay -slay account of tonight's bloodbath. With access to the more than 10,000 cameras in this city, you can be sure not to miss a single disembowelment or brutal ass shanking. Isn't that right, Chris? <laughs> Key fucking 
Boomerang Tower. I've survived more than my share of these crazy contests, and I can tell you that our audience is going to see more gushing blood and severed heads than a troop of Girl Scouts camping in an unexploded minefield. We've got some savage contestants, amazing arenas, and a fuckload of surprises for you. So sharpen your knives, place your bets, and get ready to enjoy Death Watch. So much fun, it hurts. That was your little introduction to the announcers of this game, voiced by Greg Proops, uh, Greg Props from uh, uh, Whose Line Is It Anyway, and John DiMaggio, who you probably all know as Bender from Futurama, and they are hilarious in this game. They, in fact, I think I'm gonna actually turn down the music even more because you you really need to hear them. <laughs> So whenever they're talking, I'm basically going to be quiet, because their commentary is probably just as good, if not better, than mine. Uh, yeah, that's good. I just want you to hear the announcers, because they're really good. Uh, so this is the game. Uh, you move with the analog stick, you press A to punch. You can punch multiple times to uh, make a combo. And you can uh, like use finishers with the Wii Remote. Bam. There you go. Uh, 13 is just going to uh, drive us through the tutorial here, so swing to the right or left to make a back fist. Uh, hold, wait, uh, handle, oh yeah, pressing B, takes out your chainsaw. Instant death! Uh, yeah, the chainsaw is basically always instant death, but here's the thing. When you have the chainsaw revved up, you can see in the bottom here, uh, your little meter's going down. It'll recharge over time, but that's your chainsaw meter, and, uh, that's why you can't just keep using chainsaw. Uh, Shaking the nunchuck will do a backflip. Uh, Z button jumps. And uh, those are the basics. And now let's uh, move on. Yeah. Uh, lots of blood and gore in this game, by the way. This this game is rated M for mature, if you hadn't guessed yet. Uh, no. Jump up the cars. There we go. Let's kill him. Now press... Oh, damn it. Okay. Uh, where's another one? Where's another one? Right here. Here we go. Uh, if an enemy is, uh, hurt enough, you can use a finisher, like in, uh, No More Heroes, where you use the beam katana. Uh, and finishers are brutal in this game. They might as well be like a Mortal Kombat move. Oh my god. The squeamish should look away at all points during this Let's Play. Uh, now try again with the A button. Now hit A button for a finish. There we go. There we go. Uh, now hold, hold A. You can throw people. This the tutorial can't advance until you do all this stuff, so let's just keep doing it. Okay, now, and if that wasn't enough, there's also uh, a lot of environmental things you can do in this game, like picking up tires. You can even throw tires. Don't limit yourself to tires. Oh, I won't. Yeah, as you can hear right now, the uh, music isn't that good uh, for this level. Uh, there are some good ones, though. And you can put them on people. Nothing worse than a third wheel. Ah, uh, signpost. Okay, this is where, uh, I think the public, like, got, like, when they first saw this in the first uh, teaser trailer, I think this is where they freaked out about, wow, that's right. Could you write I suck bum cock on their foreheads with lipstick? Well you could, but it wouldn't help you win death watch. Rose Bush, okay. Let's just pick up the guy with the signpost. Oh, no, he died because he had a signpost through the face. Okay. Let's just drag this guy over here. And end his horrible life. End it over and over again. <laughs> okay, now what? 
Okay, the point system. Uh, L13, I'll explain it. Uh, basically, you get uh, more points for creative kills, like uh, putting multiple items into a person's face and then killing them, instead of just using a chainsaw or something. So, let's grab a tire. Hit it over his head. We have 6,000 points for th for this kill. Uh, now we grab a signpost. Put it through his head. 26,000 points. And now we grab him. And throw him into the rose bush. Ten thousand points. Maybe he's realizing the more things he fucks a guy up with, the more points he gets. Uh, that's how the point system works. Just using creative kills. Uh, you need points to advance in a level. So if we get, let's just say, a hundred thousand, then we uh, unlock the next part of the level. And if we get like, t I think the uh, level part, level point limit in this one was a hundred and sixty thousand, which unlocks the boss. So it's in in a way it's like each uh, level is a sandbox. So that's pretty cool. Uh, these balloons are lives, and you press the uh, up button on the D pad to it's pick them up. Ah. Okay. Oh. Okay, so that does it for uh, most of the tutorial. Oh. Uh, one thing about this game, though, uh, the kills will repeat themselves eventually. Uh, there are a lot of kills, though. Like that. Um, as for the announcers, uh, they also will repeat themselves, but it takes a while for them to repeat themselves, so... Ouch. Okay. <laughs> let's just go. Let's play Mad World Snap Next Only Edition. Oh. Oh, come on. There we go. Got that asshole trapped. He can finish him off with a big point combo move. There we go, barrel in barrel. <laughs> God, that one's brutal. Okay. Uh, right now we're just we're just uh, racking up the points so we can move on to the next area. Like that. There we go. Pimps, bayers, and pain purveyors, welcome to the Bloodbath Challenge. You are about to witness our most dangerous, most deadly device yet. Looks like it's time for a Bloodbath Challenge. When is it? Okay, another part of this game. Uh, we've gotten to, uh, this is the halfway point of the level as soon as you unlock this. And at the halfway point of the level, you unlock a mini game. So let's go do it. Minigames in this game are awesome, by the way.